My name is James Overdune and I was hired into the Department of Physics, Astronomy and Geosciences in 2009. I grew up in, in the 1970s. Uh, that's when I first came into awareness of the world. Uh, and the first things I learned about were the, the oil crisis and the environmental crisis and all the other crises that seemed to be um, dooming us all. I got the impression as a kid that physics could save us. Well, now that I'm a physicist, uh, I still think physics might hold a solution to these problems. New laws of physics are going to be what, what probably save us. Now, I'm going to talk today about what I call the house of physics. The top story of the house of physics is human progress. And since I'm a scientist, I somewhat selfishly see that as resting on science and technology. And since I'm a physicist, I see that as resting on physics. And I just want to emphasize, uh, this is not to scale. Some people are going to see that as pretty different. Uh, most physicists enter their subject here on the ground floor, and a lot of them move up where they can make some money. Some of us descend down to the basement of physics, where is located physics's dirty little secret. Namely, there's a crisis in physics in the basement. Physics rests on two things, gravity and everything else. The two theories we have for these are completely incompatible. That means the house of physics is crooked. It's, in, it's out of balance. And until we can tie these two things together in the basement of physics, the house of physics and the whole house of progress, in the way I see it, is unstable. And um, I believe that once we can find a way to describe everything in a single theory, we don't have it yet, but that's what I'm studying. Uh, only then can we keep this tower steady so that we can keep building upwards. And that's what excites me about physics.